Wendy and this is my channel. Today's video is going to be about experimentation. I wanted to test my two base coats. So um, on the one side I'm going to do house paint, Floetrol, and a little bit of my Varathane. And then on the other side I'm going to use as the base coat the um, Artist Loft White with uh, Floetrol and Varathane and of course some water to thin and I want to see the difference it makes both in a swipe and for a, a pearl dump because I've only ever done my pearl paintings with the house paint but I'm finding that it's more expensive to use the house paint so we're going to go ahead and, and see what happens here. Um, because dollar for dollar, I figured it out, I did the math, and a gallon of paint is very expensive, even if you're just buying non-tinted uh, basic house paint. Um, and I usually buy my white uh, Artist Loft from Michaels when they have the buy one get two or buy one get one or whatever. That's when I, I watch for the sales and that's when I get it. and ounce for ounce honestly it's cheaper to use the artist loft so this test will help me prove one way or the other whether that's the way I go or not so my swipe color will be black and it will have a lot of flow troll in it um, far more than what you would do just mixing your regular uh, colors um, because you want that a uh, viscosity to when you swipe across the other colors to break you want the black to break and allow those other colors to come through so for some reason I decided to swipe across both panels, which is kind of silly. Um, I should have kept them separate, but it's going to work out anyway here. There's no rhyme or reason to this swiping. I'm not trying to create a painting. I'm just trying to get as many swipes in on both sides just to see what kind of reaction we're going to get. And here I wanted to see what would happen when I um, moved the paint around and stretched out the cells. Now with all my spinning around and moving, moving the painting and stretching things out, you're probably wondering which side did I do what on, but I did look at this very carefully from beginning to end and keep my eyes on which way up the painting was. I do not have specific recipes with specific amounts for my base coat or my other paints. Um, when it comes to base coat, I wing it, I really do. And I find that um, if you're looking for pearls and a lot of reaction, for me, the most important ingredient is going to be your polyacrylic or your, your um, Varathane. Um, that's what's going to do it and it doesn't have to be a lot. There is no magic ratio that works, at least not for me. I have amazing results. Um, so it's not like mixing individual paints where you're going to do a pour or um, a ring pour or a dirty pour or a flip cup or something like that, um, where you mix your individual paint colors, uh, a little bit of paint and maybe two, three times Floetrol. With the base coat, I probably have way more paint than I do Floetrol and I just put enough in that I feel is going to change the viscosity of the paint. That's what I'm looking for. And then water to thin. And then for a tiny little uh, container like the squeeze bottles you see on my desk there, um, that's going to be maybe a teaspoon of polyacrylic or varathane. Um, uh, the larger bottle, I probably put upwards of three or more teaspoons in um, for the reaction. I am definitely seeing some interesting results and they were a little unexpected um, because I'm used to my uh, using my base coat with the house paint for my pearls so I expected that to outperform the artist loft but I can already see um, as I'm doing it here that the artist loft is outperforming the house paint so that was kind of a surprise for me. Let's go in for a close up here. This side that we're looking at first is the side with the artist loft. 
And the pearls and the cells are actually far more defined than they are on the house paint side. In fact, the house paint side almost looks a little muddied. Now don't go away because we're going right into experiment number two. Okay, on to experiment number two. These are tiny, but they're going to serve the purpose. Um, we're going to bring up some pearls using the two base colors. I marked them on the back so I can't get them mixed up if I happen to set them down in the wrong spot. And exactly the same two base coats as before. This is the artist loft and the other side is the house paint. And I did use colors um, on top of the base coat but that turned out to be futile because none of them popped up anyway and that makes sense um, given the way I did it and how much I used. Um, if you want to have pearls of color come through you've got to mix it the same way you've mixed your your house paint and just use that in my opinion just use the color if that's what you want to pop up through and forget the white and here we go our top coat is going to be runnier than you would use for anything else um, lots uh, and lots of uh, flow troll in it and a lot more water and you're going to stretch that black all over the canvas and run off as much as you can the thinner you get that top coat paint to run off the more the under bubbles will have a chance to come up through it and you can see that reaction starting to happen right away and uh, after I lay these down here I'm going to speed this up for you because I do want you to see the reaction so don't go away I want you to see what happens over some time About an hour later and look at the difference there's almost zero black centers left I couldn't believe how much they changed from the last time I saw them the artist loft is so defined so gorgeous the one I'm pointing to there absolute crisp white pearls with a, the slightest gray halo and look at the house paint so much grayscale um, not well defined uh, the white is muddied down just I never would have guessed this this is a complete surprise to me and I am definitely going to have to do some more experimenting with using my artist loft as my pearl base color and because I don't like to waste I am making papers with the runoff paint this is a great idea a great hack or whatever you want to call it um, you don't have to waste all of that uh, of course if you had a much larger painting you would want to scrape it up put it in a little jar uh, put a tight lid on it and uh, just you mix it together and you've got a gray and you've got lots of paint for base coats so that's it thank you so much for coming on this experimental journey with me uh, like and subscribe if you like these videos and a big thank you to those who already have subscribed to my channel I really do appreciate it.